Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and today in the kitchen I will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious lasagna. I have not made this in a while. I have an older video on my channel and today I just decided I'm going to make some lasagna and share the recipe with you guys. Now here I have some uh, mozzarella cheese. I love to use the block kind because it's so much richer and it melts better in the recipe. I have here some ricotta cheese. I like to use the whole milk because again it's so much more richer. And I have here some ground lamb, ground beef and usually I would use Italian sausage also but I'm not in the mood for it today. I have some prego sauce, I have some more mozzarella cheese, and some sharp cheddar. I will be using some of my homemade green seasoning, garlic, some chopped bell peppers, chopped onions, some parsley, parmesan cheese. Uh, I have garlic powder, onion powder, complete seasoning, meat seasoning, chicken bouillon, uh, Italian seasoning, black pepper, and some brown sugar. Next, we are going to boil our lasagna. This is the kind that I'm using because I feel like this is the best kind for when you're making lasagna. I use the oven ready lasagna. It is so much more soft, it boils better, and you know, than the regular lasagna. The regular one is so hard. And it's, you know, I find that it takes a long time to get it to where I would like it to be. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there are two kinds of oven ready lasagna. I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about the regular kind of lasagna, but the oven ready ones. And we are going to go ahead right now and just boil this. Now here in a large pot, I will now boil my lasagna. I will boil them for about 12 minutes and I will not salt my water because my meat sauce is so flavorful and delicious. I don't need to add any salt to my lasagna because I want it to remain simple. You know, I don't want my lasagna to be salty and I find that salt in your noodles creates that. Next, I'll go ahead and brown my ground beef and my ground lamb and Usually I would season my meat before I cook it, but in this case, ground beef is usually very fatty. Unless you go and get like the leaner kind of ground beef, it is usually fatty. And I want for the beef to cook and extract those fats and juices, and I will drain it off and then start seasoning my, um, my ground beef because I don't want to you know, have to drain off all of my seasonings. So what I do is let this brown and create the fats first, and then I drain the meat and start seasoning, you know, afterwards. So our ground beef and lamb has browned nicely. And if you look closely, you can see all that oil and fat I was talking about. And we don't need all of that to clog our arteries. So what we'll do is drain some of this off and proceed with the next step. Next, we'll start adding our garlic. We will add our onions, our green seasoning. We'll add our bell peppers, and then we'll add our powder seasonings. Now, I season my meat really well. And once I've done this, I don't have to add any more seasonings like to the sauce because the seasonings from the meat transfer into the sauce and it gives it flavor. And I like to add a little sugar to my sauce and, and the meat because it just balance everything out. All that acidity in the tomato sauce, you need balance. So I like to add some sugar in there to, you know, just make it a little more yummy. But if you don't like sugar in your sauce, you can just leave that out. And we will let this go for about let's say five minutes so at this point i will now go in with my pasta sauce now i'm not using the entire jar i still had a little bit left at the bottom but you know i used most of it 
because I like a real, you know, nice, saucy uh, and juicy lasagna. I don't like my lasagna dry. So, you know, I like a lot of sauce in my lasagna. So, you know, we'll add the sauce and we'll cover this and let it simmer for about five minutes just so that the sauce can absorb into the meats before we move on to the next step. So next we will add a bit of hot water here to our meat sauce. We will stir it well and we will cover and let this simmer on low heat for about one hour. That will get all those flavors, you know, well combined and it will soften up the meat just a little bit. Next, we'll go ahead and prepare our ricotta cheese mixture. We will add the ricotta cheese into a large bowl and we will add our Parmesan cheese and we'll season this up with a little, you know, complete seasoning and black pepper. You don't need to do too much to this. And then we will add our fresh parsley and we'll mix it all in until it's well combined. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I forgot one ingredient. I forgot to add the egg to the ricotta mixture. You're supposed to add one egg to this, but I forgot the egg. And guess what? Nobody noticed. Like nobody could tell that the egg was missing from this because the lasagna was still good. It was perfect and just flavorful and yummy. So, you know, that, and it taught me something too. It taught me that I don't need the egg. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so after about one hour, this is how our meat sauce is looking. This is the part where you want to go ahead and taste it to make sure it is to your liking. And lastly, we will just add some of our fresh parsley here. And this is it, guys. This is our delicious meat sauce. Now we'll turn the heat off and we'll get ready to assemble our lasagna. So here I have, I think it's an 8 by 13 or 9 by 13 baking dish. This is specially made for lasagnas because it's so deep and it's just perfect in length and everything. And we will add our meat sauce first. We'll just add a little bit. You don't need to add a lot, just a little so that the noodles won't stick to the bottom of the pan. And then we'll go ahead and start adding our lasagna noodles. Now I am using nine of these noodles. I will make three layers and we'll add the noodles first. Then we'll add our ricotta cheese mixture and then we'll add our meat sauce. Then we'll add our mozzarella cheese and a little bit of that sharp cheddar. Now I like to add the cheese in slices because I like it nice and cheesy and rich. And I find the slices are better. It looks like it's in slices, but once it melts, it will ooze and it will get on the entire lasagna. It will spread and get all over and it is super delicious. I like to do it this way as opposed to shredding the cheese. And we'll continue the same process, you know, by repeating everything that I did here and then you know, I'll show you guys the last step, what I'll do.
Now this last step here, all you need to do is after you add your noodles, you put your meat sauce over top. You don't have to put back ricotta cheese and all that stuff. All you need to do is add your last layer of noodles and then you need to cover it with meat sauce. Now, if you don't do this, your noodles will end up being like hard and crunchy at the top. And I don't know about you guys, but my biggest pet peeve with lasagna is having the noodles hard and crunchy or inside of your lasagna is the noodles are so hard that you gotta cut it with a knife instead of just using your fork to break it apart. I like my lasagna super soft and melts in your mouth. That's how I like my lasagna. And a lot of times when people don't cook their lasagna before they place it in the oven, like they like to just add the lasagna noodles bare without cooking them, that causes the noodles to be hard. Or if you don't add your meat sauce over top, that causes your lasagna to be hard and crunchy over top. So you need to add the meat sauce. And if you by any chance run out of meat sauce, you can just use regular tomato sauce on top. You don't have to have the meat sauce. Just make sure that you have an extra jar or extra you know, sauce in your jar that you can add over top if you run out of the meat sauce. And lastly, we will we'll place our shredded uh, mozzarella and sharp cheddar cheese over top. And then we'll cover this and we'll place it into our oven. Now this goes into the oven covered at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you have an oven that's super high, you know, with the heat, you can do 355. My oven, you know, it's kind of in the middle. So I will do 375 for one hour. So after about one hour, this is how the lasagna is looking. Now we will place this back in the oven uncovered for about 25 minutes so that the cheese can become nice and golden brown. I will go in with a little bit more mozzarella cheese. I had this, you know, just left over. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to use up the cheese that I have left. And after about one hour and 25 minutes, our lasagna is finally done. It smells so good, guys. I cannot wait to dig in. I would love to put on a show for you guys and do a cheese pull and all that stuff, but I am not gonna ruin my lasagna to do that. I will allow this to set first before I show you guys. If you cut into this right now, it will be a big soupy mess and we don't want that. We we'll let this rest for about one hour and then I'll show you guys how it looks. And I could not wait to cut this and show you guys. Now it is not fully set, but it is okay that I can show you guys. Look at that, how it's meaty, it's cheesy and absolutely amazing. And when I cut it, you can see how tender that is with my fork. That's how I like my lasagna. Nice, tender, and it just melts in your mouth. It is so good. I could stand and eat this entire thing right here. I could do a mini mug bang for you guys, but I'm not going to bore you. <laughs> so this is the lasagna when it is fully set. This took about 10 hours. I just rest it in the refrigerator. And this is how it looks when it's fully set. It is absolutely amazing, guys. The best lasagna you will ever try. Trust me. And I do hope you guys enjoy my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll leave all the ingredients down in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!